Hey guys, it is time for our daily devotional. I know I look rough. Sorry about that, but we have been out all day at the Renaissance Festival today and I am tired. <laughs> but we had a great time. Maddie and I are snacking and having a little tea party in the background. So I decided to go ahead, pull the Bible out, and get our daily devotional in because I love this and I think you guys do too. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's daily devotion. If you are new, we are doing a daily devotion from the Homeschool Moms um, Bible in the King James Version. And what I do is I read the verse and I read the devotion and the prayer with you guys and just do a few seconds of commentary afterwards and that is it. So super simple but a great way to get into the word. So let's get started. This um, title is called Out of Control. The verse is, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Psalm 11:4. Learning to drive in our homeschool driver's education class looked much different than the normal driving class. It was dad's job to teach the laws and rules for operating a vehicle. But what he truly enjoyed was instructing our children in driving safety. He showed our children how to steer back onto the road if one wheel slipped onto the shoulder, how to stop in an emergency without locking the brakes, and his favorite, driving in icy conditions. Because our state had long winters, especially, uh, he especially focused on driving on icy roads. He took our children to a huge abandoned parking lot and put the car into a spin, which resembled the effect of hitting a patch of ice on the road while driving. The initial panicked look that appeared on each of our children's faces was slowly erased as he showed them how to gently steer into the skid to correct the car's out of control path. Over and over they would practice this skill until it was mastered. Many years later, my oldest son's life was saved when he avoided a serious accident because of his father's thorough instruction. Our Heavenly Father's teaching methods in learning how to live life in his care also involves repeated lessons. His word says that he tests and tries us to refine us like gold. Um, see Proverbs 17.3 when our poor choices cause self-induced problems, our lives go into a skid. Gently, he shows us how to turn back to his word to find the answers we need to straighten the out-of-control path we are on. Whether we have allowed ourselves to overspend, overeat, overwork, or participate in ungodly activities, God is able to teach us how to depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us safely back to him. God wants us to pass his driver's course and enjoy the freedom and safety of living in Jesus. Is your life out of control? Are you off the straight and narrow path and headed for the ditch? If so, let the Lord take the wheel and gently steer you back to where you should be. Your very life may depend on it. Furthermore, we have had, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? That's in Hebrews 12, 9. Father, forgive me for making so many choices that have put me on this path of destruction. Take my life and straighten me out before I cause more pain to you, myself, and others. In Jesus' name, amen. So, this I love because, let me tell you, y'all, <laughs> I have been corrected by Jesus many, many times. Let me pause real quick. Okay, Maddie's doing a little bit of whining, but um, yeah, I have been corrected by my Heavenly Father all oh, so many times, so, so, so many times, and every single time it has been out of love because God sees that I'm making bad choices, I am not living in His Spirit, I am maybe misguiding other people, and He corrects us, and a lot of times it's very painful, but to see the fruit of what has developed inside of me from his correction is most definitely worth it and you know he does it out of love and um he wants us to live in a Mama. in a very Mama. free and blessed Mama. way and wait just a second just a minute and he does that um when we are living in his will and through his correction so that he can bring us back in line with his will and his ways. So, um, 
uh, you know, I'll, it's not pleasant, but do know that if you are facing the Lord's chastisement, um, he chastises those that he loves, just like we discipline our children because we love them. We want the best for them. If God is convicting you of a sin in your life, let him convict you. Ask him to show you. And if you are not ready to give that sin up, pray about it, that God would give you the strength and desire. Uh, maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's uh, cursing or uh, anything, anything, overeating, um, alcohol, you know, prescription drugs, anything and everything. God can deliver you. God can and wants to deliver you. Um, and he is convicting you in those areas. Maybe it's the sin of gossip, you know, or maybe um, anything else, just your lifestyle. He is showing you and maybe bringing some pain into your life so that you will turn to him. And sometimes when we neglect to turn to, the, to Christ, um, he will intensify our pain. And he does that because he wants to get our attention. Don't be stubborn. Don't turn your heart away from him. Let your heart be soft to receive what the Holy Spirit is trying to convict you of. Do not harden your hearts. Receive what he's trying to say to you and turn back to Christ and you will be blessed for it, I promise. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will be posting a vlog later on this evening. So be looking out for that and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.